Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Gene Silva versus William Gomez. Gene Silva, 12 and 2. Big, big uh, uh, winning streak going on. Nine fights in a row. Minus 140 favorite, 27 years old, 5'7 with a 69 inch reach. Fighting William Gomez, who's 13 and 2. Good winning streak for himself as well. 11 fights in a row. Uh, plus 115, 26 years old, 6 foot tall with a 73 inch reach, 4 inch reach advantage for William Gomez, in a, in a what is that, 3, 10, 4, 11, 5 inch height advantage. This is a complicated one, because I, even though I do think Gene Silva is decent, I don't think he's bad by any, any, any means. Um... Gosh. Okay, so um, first round. So when he fought Weston Wilson, okay, he had one. He was one for one takedown, twenty five of thirty six total strikes, sixty nine significant strike accuracy. <clears throat> the different, the problem with that, using that fight as a tool or a thing to talk about, is Weston Wilson's not good. He he loses his chin up in the air. He's there to be hit for sure. He's long. He's lanky. Doesn't know how to use it at all. And Gene Silva just went at him, connected, and ended up finishing him. So again, it's not a great one to look at because he's a guy that's gonna be hit. So contender series fight is a good one because. Per round, 16 of, 16 of 37, 39 of 78, 32 of 63. So he got better as the fight went on for that one. So totally, he was 87 of 178, a 48 significant striking accuracy, one of three takedowns, nine seconds of control time. So again, he uh, landed landed by target, 73% to the head, 25 to the body, one to the leg. Distance, 91 to the distance, and 8 in the clinch. Again, he got better as the fight went on. The issue I have is I just think William Gomez is a little bit more uh, well-rounded, and he's, he's going to be faster. He has better movement. In, in, in doing and in saying that, he's had two fights, I believe, in the UFC now, decision. William Gomez, 27 of 46, 14 of 27, 11 of 15. And then if you look at it, he was uh, total 61 of 99, 59 significant striking accuracy, 52 of 88, two submission attempts, 55 control time, um, zero for four takedown attempts for Giannis, whatever that is, uh, landed by target, 19 to the head, 11 to the body, 69 to the legs, 90 at distance, and nine in the clinch. Now, if you look at them as a whole, if you look at that fight as a whole, let's get out of here. Um, da, 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 da. Strikes landed per minute, 5.83 for Silva, 2.62 for Gomez, uh, 52 to 46, 4.4 to 4.27 to 1.49. Uh, defense, 57 to 75. Doesn't get hit a lot. This William Gomez. Takedown uh, average, 1.56 to 1.06, 50%, 60%, 100% takedown defense to 81. I just think William Gomez is quicker, and his uh, striking is a little bit more well-rounded, but the biggest thing on it is his movement and his speed. And I think Gomez, even though you will have to fight through some adversity at some point in this matchup, I think it's the job done by decision. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me know who you're picking. Peace.